Hey guys, I'm going to be doing a review on United Cutlery's UC-1380, Anduril, Sword of King Alessar, Flame of the West. The blade is made from tempered 420 J2 stainless steel. The blade's thickness is 1 fourth of an inch. This beautiful sword measures 52 and 7 8 inches overall, including the handle, and the blade measures 40 and 5 8 inches. This is the wooden display for the sword. It has runes on the bottom of the display. And marked with the tree of Gondor. It has metal pegs here and here. And a rubber backstop to keep the sword straight. To keep from scratching the wall. Also, when screwing the display into the wall, I suggest using a stud finder to make sure there's a beam behind there. The pommel has the same room from the display, a genuine leather handle, and 24 karat gold fillings here and here and on the pommel itself. The famous runes are inscribed into the sword and go all the way up to the top. They read, I am Anduril, who was once Narsil, sword of Elendil. The slaves of Mordor shall flee from me. The blade is false edged, so I won't be killing many orcs with this one. However, the tip is actually pretty pointy, and you can actually hurt someone with that, so be careful. The sword weighs about 8 pounds, and feels sturdy, and was made with quality in mind. You can hold it with one hand, but the sword was intended to be held with two. The sword is actually balanced quite nicely, which is hard to find in replica swords. The sword costs around 180 US dollars. However, the price will only go up as less and less swords become available. Some last minute advice would be, make sure it's always United Cutlery. On eBay, there are a lot of sellers who sell Pakistan made swords for cheaper, trying to trick you. Do not buy these swords, I repeat, do not buy these swords. They're horribly made, cheap, and will make you want to cry. Well guys, thanks for watching, I hope you guys enjoyed the review. And as a little bonus, I want to show you some other stuff that I got recently. And maybe if you want, I could do a review on these things individually, such as the map of the Lonely Mountain, some Mario figurines, a Roman replica helmet, Legend of Zelda sword and shield, Sting sword, the Hobbit calendar, some Lord of the Rings statues I have here, Thorin's key, and back here we have the contract replica from the Hobbit. Alright, thanks guys. Let me know in the comments.